Hi, Cameron. Joey here at City Market in beautiful Lily, Texas. So you want to know what's great about Texas barbecue? To be honest, it's the people. My dad, 55 years. Me, 34 years. My nephew, third generation, 13 years. We have people that have worked here 40 years, 30 years, 20 years. It's not easy. So not anybody can do it. But that's the secret. Hey Tamara, welcome to Dallas, Texas. My name is Jill Vargas. I am the owner of Lockhart Smokehouse. Yes, that Lockhart, right next to your hometown of Luling. So we decided that, you know, Dallas needed some of that great Central Texas flavor of barbecue. And as you know, in Texas, beef is absolutely king. And that is really what sets Texas barbecue apart. So when you come to Texas, absolutely, you must try the beef brisket. Also, we get our cousin's handmade sausage. In addition to the ribs, we like to call that the Texas Trinity. So thanks so much, and we hope to see you soon. Hey, Jen, I want to welcome you to the most famous barbecue, not just in the city of Kansas City, but in the nation of the United States, and potentially in the world, and intergalactic. Our the has been doing it the same way for over 100 years. What you're gonna find when you come here for barbecue is barbecue. No frills, it's all about the beef. Hi, Jen. This is Wayne Garrett. I'm gonna get matched. You come to Kansas City, you want to get barbecue. Come here, off the brown. We need something to wash that barbecue down, especially after Monday. We got something that might help with that. Go Chiefs. No, come on, I love it, welcome back. The Chiefs versus the Eagles, we know February 12th. I'm sorry to my friends in Kansas City because the Eagles gonna win that Super Bowl. But <laughs> some of the barbecue kings around the country, but in New York, the king of the house is here with us, Ruben Santana. Ruben started out cooking in his backyard, manifest the greatness that he's experienced. This is your first TV appearance. Yes, it is. I mean, that also, that speaks to the power of social media. You've never done a TV show. People just started hearing about you on social and started lining up around the corner. Yeah. That's wow. how And you are in the Dumbo neighborhood in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, yeah. Expanding, I'm sure, soon. So we, let's talk about these sides here. So we, we said many of your sides are off reminiscent of your Dominican heritage and what yes. you have around the holidays, but you bring them into the restaurant. Yes, yes. They paired well with uh, Central Texas style smoked meats. So, so your uh, mac and cheese you're proud of. Yeah. You have some things here, the plantains. Yeah, we have the plantains. Mm -hmm. uh, next to the plantains, we have uh, Dominican torta. So this is a Dominican style cornbread. So it's more on the sweet side. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's it's my son would yo, yeah, my son would eat the whole thing. You pan. can eat a whole tray of that, definitely, 100 <laughs> percent And then we have, you know, it's a very simple side, but you know, us Dominicans, we like well seasoned everything. So <laughs> So this I is a coleslaw, it. and it's a really reddish coleslaw. We use a lot of uh, red cabbage, celery, salt, mm. and vinegar. All right, so you're going to take me through your famous mac and cheese. Yes. Okay. We're going to do the mac and cheese. And it's funny, you say famous, but I had no intentions for it to be famous. Because you're a barbecue <laughs> guy. This snuck yeah. up on you. And so people yeah. kept asking for it as a side to what yeah. they were eating. And I think our take on it is a little bit different, too. So okay. you're about All right, to so see right now. All right, so take me through it. All right, so let's start by doing the custard. OK. All right, so oh, we already have some noodles ready. So we're going to do a custard. So this is like a southern style mac and cheese. There's no roux or anything. It's basically like a custard that we're going to okay. mix with the noodles. So we're going to use, egg. yep, we're going to use three eggs. Three eggs. All right. Don't get the yolk in your nails. I know. I, you know, I'm normally good at just doing a one-hand egg open thing. Yeah. My, look at that. I was. I was until I tried to show out. I know. Funny enough, you say my nails because it was my manicurist, Angie, from She's Polish, who told me about you. She's from Panama. Oh, okay. And she was okay. like, oh, Tamara, listen, we're coming from Texas. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> OK. So you got All your right. eggs. So, all right. So then we're going to add some of our whole and, milk okay. in here. Whole milk and yeah. heavy cream in there. And heavy cream, oh, yeah. Wow. So it's going to be like two cups. Yeah, it's going to help with the creaminess. OK. And I have the finish over here because you fluff it up pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, right. yeah. So basically, that's our sour cream. So the sour cream is used to basically uh, for the noodles. Oh, OK. The, uh, yeah. That's... All right, so I got ahead of you. I'm sorry. All right, yeah, so yeah. No, that's stuff. all right. So let's just whisk it up right here. OK. Let's and you're it. all, you are self-taught completely. Self-taught completely, yeah. Self-taught. Wow. Self-taught. 
All right, so once the custard's ready, right, we'll put that to the side, right? Okay. So then we're gonna come here, we're gonna drop this sour cream in here. Sour cream, I've never seen that. This is a risky right? move. Yeah. It's a risky move. Yeah. They're all So this all helps with the creaminess right of the noodles. Okay. All right? And it helps emulsify all the seasoning because the difference, the different take that we approach that we do on the, on the mac and cheese is that we season our noodles instead of the sauce. Oh. Yeah. So you got your sour cream in yeah. here. So basically you're gonna put some butter. Butter, I've never seen the sour cream tip before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I love all this butter. Yeah. It's amazing. I think maybe they gave me too much butter, but they gave, okay. There's no such thing as too much <laughs> butter, sir. You wear Spanx, that's what we do. Okay. Basically you're gonna mix this up a right. little bit just so you can have all the the Mission noodles. In. Okay, and what's your seasoning here? So then basically our seasoning now. All right, so over here we have some adobo. Okay, ooh. Yeah, we're gonna use some adobo. Uh-huh. I told you, gotta be well seasoned. Whoa. Gotta and by well the way, seasoned. we will have the complete Ruben's recipe for his mac yes. and cheese on our website, as well as he is so kind to share his sauce recipe as well. So go to TamaraHallShow.com to look for it. Okay, I'm sorry. So then now you got your black pepper. Got black, okay, black pepper. Black pepper. Little black pepper. Yep, I'm gonna put that in there. Oregano, whole oregano. Whole oregano, wow. whole oregano, yes. Whole you also oregano. do paprika. Then we do smoked paprika. Smoked paprika. Smoked oh, paprika. Gosh. Smoked paprika. Please. All right. Wait, we still, got, we still got a few I more. I can tell you're self-taught because you're like, just sprinkle until you figure you got it right. <laughs> Ruben is like, I'm not talking about a teaspoon and a half. Sprinkle till you get it right. Okay. And then we have so, our garlic powder. Kosher salt. And what's that? No, there's no salt. Oh, oh there's so no salt. So basically the salt, you're, when you're boiling your noodles is when okay. you're going to add the salt. The non-cook in my ear, Kiana Burns, All right. my, my, my executive producer. Then add your garlic salt? powder. Add what your, is that? Your garlic powder. Garlic powder, okay. Yeah, we're going to add everything right now. Okay, oh, okay. And we're going to add everything. Don't hold back. Don't be shy. I'm not shy. Don't be shy. Okay, garlic right. powder. And then we're going to have uh, our dark uh, chili powder. Dark chili powder, okay. Oh my gosh. Reuben, do you have anything left in the pantry, <laughs> sir? Okay. It was it was one of those things that I used everything in okay. the cabinet, yes. And then we're gonna, for a little bit of spice, I think spice always gives an extra layer of flavor. A little bit of uh, pepper flakes. Oh, wow. Fresh pepper flakes. Now, what about the achiote? The anchote, yes. Anchote. The anchote. Anchote. Yeah, anchote is really known in the house, you know. Um, we, it's known as culantro and anchote. Uh-huh. Um, but it's, it, gives a, uh, it gives more color and a different type of earthy taste to the Ooh. mac and cheese as well, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So, yeah, so you're gonna mix all this stuff in, make sure you mix it mix in Mix really it all good. in. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna look like it's a little bit over seasoned, but what happens is when you mix it with the custard, it kind of like washes it off. Oh, okay, yeah, so then so, we put the custard with the mac and cheese? Yeah, so then now you're gonna put the custard into the mac and cheese after you mix this good. Just pour it in there? Yeah, you just pour it in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you just pour it in there. Oh my God, yeah. Ruben, oh yeah, yeah, this is amazing. Right? And then you're gonna come with your cheese. And then the cheese, you do how many cheeses? So right now we have like a pound of noodles, so we're gonna do like seven, eight ounces of cheese. What types of cheese? So then we have uh, our yellow cheddar, white cheddar, and some smoked gouda. Smoked gouda? Yeah, some smoked oh gouda. my God. So you just pour it all in right. there. All right, so we're putting all this in. Pour it in there. This it gotta be incredible. cheesy. It gotta can't be, be a mac and cheese if it's not cheesy. It can't be a mac and cheese. That's so funny. We just had a conversation. Someone said, I don't like my mac and cheese too cheesy. And my hair started. Oh. Johnny said, it's called mac and, and cheese. cheese. Mac and cheese, ma'am. All right. We put yeah. it in the oven. How long do you bake it for? Yeah, so you're gonna bake it for at least 45 minutes. And the magic to 50 of television, minutes. I have a full tray over here yes. already. And it is warm. Um, unfortunately, live television, I, I don't have a fork. Oh, yes, I do. Hold on. <laughs> I manifested that fork. I was like, <laughs> listen. Okay, I know this whole pan is mine, so don't judge because I'm taking it home. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, look at that color. And that's from yeah. the achiote. Oh, this color. Yeah, the anchote, the smoked paprika. Oh, my God. What, Ruben, they said you were the king. Mm -hmm. You are the king. Congratulations. Thank you. This is crazy.
especially love you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Ruben Santana, the barbecue king of Brooklyn. If you're in New York, you better stop by and see him. Ruben is at Time Out Market in Brooklyn and Jumbo. He's open Monday through Saturday. And let me tell you, we advise you to get there early. You can tell him that Tamron sent you, though.